Toronto. <laughs> Girls, what are you excited for? Game time. Well, it took us two plane rides to get here. So we're from uh, Edmonton First Nation, or Fort Hope in uh, Northern Ontario. So we have two, two very special girls, uh, Tiandra Munez. She was one of the original girls, uh, part of the Res Girls team. And then Tiana Kiskiri is our second girl. She's been on the team, this will be her third year. So we had to definitely bring her on this, on this exciting adventure. It was awesome, like when you see it on TV and I'm standing there, I felt like one of the girls, right, that little kid just standing there and fist pumping away, that felt awesome. Felt like I was a kid again. There was a lot of moments where, you know, when the make some noise would come up and Tiandra would get her finger up and, you know, she would make some noise, that's what she kept saying. And, and, and Tiana, I think, was just in awe, like she just was sitting there and taking in every, you know, every play and when it was over, she said, can we just watch it all over again? Like she really, she really had so much fun. I think it's bigger than what we thought it would be. Being drafted by Toronto, my hometown, and just knowing the media presence you get around here, I realized that you could make a big difference with that and started discussing and planning how we could help in the community and help just in general for raising money and ended up with the Martin Assist Fund. If we can, you know, donate with the help of the NHLPA, put, put some equipment together for some kids, whether they go on to play in the NHL, whether they go on to a scholarship program, or they just play for the fun of playing. If you can make a difference, it's always worth it, and I think that's just a goal we're really trying to do here. You're giving someone a chance to play the sport that they love and, and giving them a dream that they can become whatever they want in that sport. You know, he just tries to do what he can, you know, and, and make the world a better place. What's up, everyone? Today I had the opportunity to work with uh, the girls from Fort Hope and uh, the Hockey for Youth group. You know, so you've got kids out there, literally, that over the last couple weeks have learned how to stop. You know, now have the equipment where they can go home and go to an outdoor rink. And one little girl said, I practice every day. I moved to Canada uh, five years ago, and I moved from Gujarat in India. Whenever I put my skates on, I feel very happy on the ice. I skate, I move. It really makes me feel Canadian because this is the best part of being Canadian, the ice. Hockey ain't a cheap sport. and I, Growing up playing it my whole life, I know that. Seeing how much pairs of skates, how much gloves, everything costs. Finding a way to help out these kids and get them fresh equipment and help them out with their hockey tournaments and get them going. They're out there, they call themselves a family out there in the ice. And that's pretty cool when you think about it. You know, so. I think you're changing their lives, giving them this opportunity. Every single step that I took in my life through, a, like in Canada, was through hockey. So hockey is not, is not a sport for me. It's just like a new life. 